Well, I've parted my hair on the right side. Then I'm going to create a zigzag part down the back of my head to divide my hair into two equal halves and tie away the hair on the right side. Now I'm going to pick up a section of hair near the part and divide it into three sections, beginning a Dutch braid by crossing the right strand under the middle and then crossing the left strand under the middle. Now I'm going to combine the middle and right strand together and begin a Dutch fishtail braid. So I'm taking a small section from the right, crossing it under to the left, picking up a new section of hair and crossing it under to the left. Then I'm going to take a small section from the left, cross it under to the right, pick up a new section of hair and cross it under to the right side. So once more, I'm crossing a small section from the right under to the left, picking up a new section of hair and crossing it under to the left side. Then I'm taking a small section from the left side, crossing it under to the right, picking up a new section of hair and crossing it under to the right side. And I'm just going to repeat those steps, continuing the Dutch fishtail braid until I've brought in all of the hair from the left side of my head. Once I've brought in all of the hair from this left side, then I'm just going to tie off the end of the braid with an elastic band at the nape of my neck. Now I'm just going to repeat those exact same steps and create a second Dutch fishtail braid, crossing small sections from one side under to the opposite side, while adding new sections into the braid and working my way down to the nape of my neck. Once all of the hair is brought into the braid, then I'm just going to tie off the end of the braid with an elastic band. Now I'm going to go back over the braid, pulling on the edges to make the braids wider and more full. Then I'm just going to wrap a small section of hair around each elastic and secure it underneath with a bobby pin. I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Make sure to click the thumbs up if you want to see more tutorials like this one and make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. You can click my little picture right up here to subscribe. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you next time.